Hello, 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 and welcome to another Angry Unit of the Week. And today, we're taking a look at the American Mortar 81mm. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about this mortar, as the mid-range mortars were used by the majority of combatants throughout the war, and they're all pretty similar, all things considering. These were handed off to infantry battalions, usually four per infantry battalion, and they would see service on all fronts by the Americans during the Second World War, all the way up to the Korean War. They were especially useful in the Pacific, as it was pretty difficult to get larger howitzer guns onto your small Pacific Islands. In game, the Mortar 81mm is a 60 point mortar available exclusively to the American 2nd Infantry Division, and it has Rail 1 Rappen. And surprise, it's an 81mm mortar, yeah, it is the Rappen. You have 25 high explosive shots and 15 smoke rounds. It's a pretty standard medium mortar, does decent fire rate, decent range at 3km, and does decent damage. Down to the miscellaneous stats, this thing does have a radio which is extremely useful. It's a five man crew with normal optics, medium self, and light cargo space. So, in battle, I tend to find that mid range mortars such as this tend to be some of the most useful artillery pieces that you can get in the game. And it's for a very good reason. You can just use them in pretty much the majority of circumstances, whether it's knocking out single target units such as anti tank guns fighting over towns, trying to stress out enemy tanks. These things do a really good job of doing that. They got a decent amount of ammunition, decent hit range, three kilometers isn't a cross map range like a regular howitzer's, but you can still touch something from a far distance at three kilometers. Also, with the American run in this case, it's really good. It's probably a little bit too good because that radio means that you're incredibly accurate at long range shooting if you have radio leaders, which you do because you're playing Americans and everything has goddamn radios on it. So you're just going to be doing constant artillery strikes that are extremely accurate and that's going to be a huge pain on the enemy. You can get a lot of these mortars in 2nd infantry and they're relatively cheap for 60 points and you got a good amount of supply as well to keep them nice and armed. They're really, really good. You can just use them in any situation and unlike all the other mortars that all the other nations get, that radios means you are much more accurate. Yeah, it's just a really good artillery piece, just bloody take it. And well, I'm going to leave it off here. This has been another Rangaroo Unit of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.